Good Monday evening, everybody. Hope y'all having a God bless Monday. I am having a uh, flashback from childhood uh, when we used to come in and on the cold, cold days. Mama would have a great big old pot of soup. So I feel like a big pot of soup. So y'all come on in and help me make this pot of chicken vegetable soup. One of my favorites in the world since I can't eat a lot of beef these days. We're going to do it chicken style. Y'all know I love me some chicken anyway. So I hope y'all are having a God bless uh, Monday and everything's going well. And if it's cold, get you something hot to drink and a big old bowl of soup will do it every time. So we're going to come on in and I'm going to get the chicken going. I think I probably, I've got, uh, these are my chicken, um, my 10 pound bag of chicken that I got from Sam's Club. I love, love, love this chicken because all you got to do is just go ahead and put it into the pot and let it cook. It's flash frozen and I think I got about three pounds of chicken. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get it started while I cut up my veggies. It's uh, late in the evening because I've been out all afternoon, like I was saying. I have a lot of errands to do. A lot of little, you know, you have the little knick-knack, paddywhack things to do. Well, I had lots of them to do today, y'all. So, I got most of them done. I had to reschedule, so I got to turn around and start over tomorrow on a couple of things. So, we're going to get this soup going. And like I said, we're going to do the... Get the chicken in the pot and get it boiling. And then um, I'll get all my veggies cut up while the chicken's cooking. I'm going to do a great big old pot. I'm just going to go ahead and use the rest of this chicken. I know it's three or four pounds. So what I want to do here is go ahead and get it going. And we're going to say for the sake of uh, you getting the recipe, we're going to say that this is four pounds of chicken parts. I'm using chicken drums. So I'm going to go ahead and get them in and get the seasoning going in them. Uh, of course, y'all know I use Badia for the, uh, we're going to use a couple of tablespoons of Badia seasoning in there. And I'm going to put in some... Uh, well, I might as well put the rest of that because this is about gone. My um, bouillon, a couple of tablespoons of my bouillon cube uh, seasoning. So that's all gone. Yep, that's the last of that. So have to get to the uh, Asian market and get some more of that. That season is real good. You don't have to use a lot of it. So get that in there. Get it going. And I'm going to put a lid on that and let it cook with the lid on it. Let's find the right lid. Y'all know I'm getting ready to grab some pots now. Get it under this cabinet. I hope this, I hope this one is the one. Oh yeah, it's going to be the one, y'all. It's going to be the one. Okay, so we'll let that be the one. Get that pot lid on there, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting up my potatoes and my other veggies. I'll let that chicken cook for a good 30 minutes before I put everything else in. And once you get all the other veggies in, the soup is pretty much done, except for just you know cooking it through. When I say done, I mean about getting all the uh, ingredients in. I'm gonna be putting uh, two medium-sized onions and probably a half a pound of white potatoes and some mixed vegetables. I'll finish this off. This is about two cups of mixed vegetables I'll be putting in. Those are already frozen. And I'm gonna use a can of whole kernel corn and two cans of diced tomatoes and a can of tomato paste. And we'll take it from there. Okay, so I'll be right back. Meanwhile, we're going to let this chicken come to a rolling ball, and then we'll um, lower the heat on it in a few minutes. Now, if you want to make a smaller pot, but you all see this is my big soup pot, because I give you one thing about soup. Uh, once you eat off of it, you may have enough for another couple of bowls. But after that, whatever you got left over, you can always freeze it. Okay, soup freezes real well. Okay, so I got my big soup pot on there, y'all, my cornucopia soup pot. Okay, so I will be back shortly.
Hey, everybody. I believe the chicken is ready for the rest of the ingredients so we can get this soup show on the road. Whew. That chicken is cooked down so good, y'all. Let's get the camera up here where y'all can see what's going on. We're just gonna, I'm just going to start putting all the ingredients in. Um, got my potatoes and onions all chopped. Remember, we chopped the potatoes and onions. And I'm going to tell you something. This chicken is cooked down to perfection. To perfection. Perfection, y'all. And this is um, our two cups of um, veggies. And pour them right in there. Take care of that little bag. This is going to be so yummy, y'all. So yummy. Okay. Now we're going to go with the corn. Put the corn in there. I think I'm going to only use one can, maybe. Let's see. We'll see. Because that uh, mixed vegetables had some uh, corn in it as well. And I have a, let's see, 32 ounces of Chicken broth, I'm going to add. That's to keep, excuse me, that's to keep all that flavor in there. We're going to cook this soup another 30 minutes, and it's going to be ready for a bowl. Ready for a bowl. Okay, let's go on with our tomato paste. We're going to put I'm going to start with one small can of tomato paste. I don't know if I'm going to need two or not. I think this, along with the tomatoes, I think we're only going to need uh, one can. You know, um, we always talk about prayer. That, that's our constant thing. And unfortunately, uh, there's been another mass shooting so of course we're in prayer for all of our friends and family and oh, neighbors in um, New Orleans I'm telling you the truth I you know some days these things happen I just don't have words and I am so glad we are committed to prayer and not only just committed to prayer but we are committed to Praying without ceasing for each other because, again, as I told y'all, when we started this journey of prayer, that there's always something to pray about. There's all it's always praying time, so we don't have to just say save it for Sunday, save it for Wednesday night uh, Bible study. Prayer is always appropriate because something is always going on where we need prayer. Someone we know needs prayer. And th this thing is getting to the point where monthly we got multiple lives being lost or someone being hurt or s something just, just on a monthly basis. And I just don't know what to say except pray without ceasing. And continue to ask God to help us to be strong in, in uh Lead our, you know, lead us in the right path. Order our steps, oh God. We just ask that you would do that, that you would strengthen each and every grieving heart, uh, settle each and every confused mind. We don't know why exactly these things are happening, but we do know that, Lord, you are still in control. And as long as we trust you, all the things that we have need of will come to fruition. So we just ask you again, Lord, as we always do, as we do on a daily basis, as we do whenever there's a crisis or, or hard times, Lord, just strengthen us. Keep us, oh Lord. Keep us, Jesus. Just keep us near the cross. 
And we just pray a special prayer for each family that was affected by that shooting in New Orleans. We pray that every mother and father and sister and brother who are kin to those individuals who were in harm's way, we just pray that strength in the Lord. And we just pray that um, peace <clears throat> that passes all understanding will come into those families. Um, again, we don't know the why of this situation we just know that we have to continue to pray and look to the hills from once come with our help and Lord we know our help comes from you and for those of us who can pray we're going to stand and band and pray we're going to stand in the gap for those families because not only is it hurtful and, and just devastating when these things happen to us but it's, it, it's like every time it happens, it opens up the wounds that maybe would begin to heal for the people who had those same situations the month before, the week before, the day before. So, Lord, even those who have had those tragic things happen to them um, early on in the year, Lord, we just, just continue to bless them and to keep their heart and their mind and their spirit in a positive manner. So, God, we just continue to pray and ask you to help us and keep us on the straight and narrow. But for the grace of God, it could have been any one of us. So we hold our sisters and brothers up to you. We, we hold their arms up. We stand in the gap for them. We pray for them. And we want them to feel our prayers band around them. We want them to feel you, O oh Lord, comforting them because you said in your word, O oh God, that you would never leave us nor forsake us even until the end of time. So Lord, we lift up these prayers to you and ask you to strengthen us in Jesus' name. Amen. So uh, again, like I always uh, say, pray without ceasing for one another. Uh, we, even when things aren't happening, that's, you know, the good thing to pray is that when things do happen, uh, well, we, we, we not necessarily get ahead of things, but to have things to, to be covered, to, to uh, just to be strengthened, I guess. We just pray to be strengthened, not to, not to try to, you know, head off anything in our own in and of ourselves because we don't have that ability, but we just ask God on a daily basis to keep us strong and strengthen them. And for any of you uh, out there who are having hardships, if you have pain in your body, in your mind, you're confused, whatever, we just lift you up as well and ask God to strengthen you for whatever things that you're going through that you might come out for the better because we believe the report of the Lord. No matter what our bodies are going through, uh, my body is going through um, this healing process. My legs are going through some things. But Lord, I know that you are able and capable and as long as I have breath, I will continue to lift myself up to you for healing and for my guidance. So we just continue to pray for one another. Um, and we just thank God each and every day. We just... Uh, just ever so thankful and grateful to the things that God does for us on a daily basis. We just thank Him for His grace and mercy, just for even waking up. Just thank you, Lord, uh, just for the weather, for the birds, the bees, for our food, for everything. We don't take anything for granted. In all things, give thanks. So, Lord, we just thank you and we praise you and we honor you. And I thank God for each one of you that uh, as I pray, I can feel you praying with me. I thank God for each one of you that uh, you continue to support my channel and you send me good well wishes and uh, compliments. You pray for me and I do the same for you. It makes me feel good to send it back your way. I feel good when I can share things with you and you all share with me. So I thank God for all of that. So um, we're just going to get on with the soup now. I think it's it's almost ready to start boiling. I may have to put um, maybe a little bit more, maybe another can of tomatoes or tomatoes in there. But we're going to let the soup uh, come to a rolling boil 
so we can get all those ingredients cooked. Like I said, it's going to have to cook another 30, 45 minutes to get it going. So we're going to have soup tomorrow. Tony and Lisa came by. Tony's healing really well. He said he felt like he could walk without his cane. Praise the Lord. Um, <coughs> he's going to physical therapy tomorrow. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> getting strangled. But anyway, he said he's going to wait till he go let them release him to walk without that cane. Because, uh, you know, he knows the cane will help him to, uh, I mean, walk without the cane. We'll help him get back to his regular walk. Um, so we thank God for his healing. I thank God for my healing. And for each one of you out there who have got things going on in your body and your mind, we thank God for what he's doing in your life. Just continue to pray and trust that God is a healer. And we have to claim that healing and believe in that healing so that we can move forward in it. So, anywho, tomorrow, uh, I told the kids to come on back, honey. Y'all need to come on and get you a bowl of soup tomorrow. <coughs> Excuse me again. Come on get a bowl of this soup. That's why I'm making this great big pot. This is my real show enough soup pot. So, this, I'm just going to let it cook here until it just uh, blends all together. And we're just going to have us a good old pot of uh, chicken vegetable soup. So, I'm going to tune out for a minute and I shall return. Okay, y'all know when I'm cooking, I always do a little bit of a twist. So, uh, usually I put a little bit of brown sugar to cut that sharp tomato taste. This time, how about a squirt of honey in there? That'll cut it just as well. Have that, that sweet will cut right through that um, sharp tomato we taste. So, a little dash of, uh, or you could, if you like that sharp tomato taste, by all means, don't put either one in there. But I just squirt it up. And it, it probably was a, a, a good couple of teaspoons of honey in there. It just lift it somewhere that it wasn't before so we're just gonna go ahead and let it cook y'all let it cook let it cook and i'll let you know if i need to add the more more tomatoes to it okay i had already put some turkey sausage in i thought i had much more than i did and i found another piece so i put a whole slot whole just one whole stick of turkey sausage i thought i had a whole pack but anyway there's a little bit of turkey sausage in the soup y'all to keep it healthy but to just make it taste better okay that soup is rolling the chicken is cooked just about off the bone Got loads of chicken in there and also my uh, few pieces of uh, turkey sausage it's made it yummy -er. it's gonna be so good can't wait to get me a bowl with some crackers Okay, this is wonderful. And this is going to be especially good tomorrow. You know, I wish I had some okra to put in here. There's bones in there, but that's fine. I like bones in my soup. Yeah. So I'm going to let it boil like that. I'm going to turn it down a little bit so I don't want it to pop out on the stove. I'm going to let it come to a full boil like that for about 15 more minutes, and then I'm going to shut it down. So we'll be back. Okay, y'all. It is soup. This time to ladle it up into a bowl. It's wonderful. Help me up a bowl here. Y'all know I don't eat a lot these days, so. I like that broth. It's kind of late. I'm not going to eat that much anyway. Mm. Yummy, yummy, y'all. That's a plenty for me. Okay, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in while I cook my good old winter pot of chicken vegetable soup. Hope y'all had your uh, ingredients out and were cooking right along with me. Uh, I surely enjoyed it. It only took, what, about, well, it's about under an hour, I believe, the time we spent cooking this. Anyway, soup is not that hard to cook. It just takes a little bit of time because you got to get the ingredients, you got to get everything cooked and um, 
boil down. So I'm going to let this cook slowly uh, until I get ready to leave out of the kitchen because it's got to cool all the way down before I can refrigerate it. So again, thank you all for tuning in and for listening and for praying with me. Continue to pray for these families uh, who are going through all these tragic uh, shootings and all this uh, inclement weather and losing, you know, life and limb. Just continue. We just need to continue on that and just never, ever stop doing it. So until I cook again, I love you guys. Thank you all for the comments and compliments and prayers and praying for each other and cooking along with me, giving me tips on cooking and different ingredients and just everything. I love you all so much and I enjoy so much sharing with you. So until I decide to cook again, uh, keep those prayers going up now so the blessings will continue to come down and until i decide to cook something else i don't know what i'll cook tomorrow i'm gonna say toodaloo and y'all have a blessed blessed night love you guys